The Camera Gamma plugin found in Dashwood Editor Essentials is designed to convert log footage into Rec. 709 or something viewable for dailies or editing before you do your actual color correction. Today I'm going to be working in Final Cut Pro 10, but uh, this plugin works just as well in Final Cut Pro 7, Apple Motion, After Effects, or Premiere Pro. So let's go into Final Cut Pro 10 and have a look. So here I have some Arri Alexa footage. And this footage was shot in log C. It's very low contrast, and this is just what log C looks like. So I'm going to apply the Camera Gamma plugin. In Final Cut Pro 10, we see that we have a little presets uh, drop down here. And if we just take a peek, if we click on the presets, these are presets that we're uh, currently shipping with the plugin. So you can see right away we have Airy Log C to Rec. 709. If you had shot on the Blackmagic camera or in Canon Log or Sony S-Log or even S-Log 2, then you would select the appropriate settings. So let's select uh, Log C to Rec. 709. And right away we can see the difference. So this is uh, a more authentic look or basically the way it would have looked if we had had the Rec. 709 setting uh, output on the camera. So uh, we also have some settings. Uh, here's some footage that was shot with um, the Sony FS700 with Cine Gamma 4. So let's select FS700, Cine 4, and there we go. So now the uh, very flat looking Cine Gamma has been expanded into Rec. 709. Now if we want to copy and paste this, it's really simple. Since it's just a normal effect, we'll just literally copy, and then select a bunch of clips on our timeline, and you just want to say paste attributes. You could also paste effects, but in this case we just want to paste one effect, which is camera gamma, and we're pasting that onto two clips, and now we have that on these clips as well. Just to show you the difference, that's what it looked like before, and this is the after. Now let's say you want to create your own custom curve. Uh, all you have to do is apply Camera Gamma to a reference chart that you've shot. So what I recommend is that you shoot something in the log format, but also shoot a reference in Rec. 709, uh, assuming your camera has that setting. So in this case, uh, I have a linear reference, and this is actually uh, uh, computer generated, but this reference has been fed uh, through a, uh, a LUT process uh, external to uh, Final Cut Pro. So, for example, DaVinci, you can uh, run this through Resolve and apply a LUT, and then you get all of these uh, references after the LUT's been applied. And so, basically, what I'm going to do in, in Camera Gamma is I'm going to show the advanced controls here and enable the curve lines, and this is where we can actually control the shape of the curve, and we have full, let me just reset it here, we have Luma control, but we also have control for um, uh, red, green, and blue, so if I select just red, then I get the red curve, um, and so on. So for now, let's, uh, let's apply um, a reference for, well, let's use log C. So I'm going to drag log C into my image well. Now, the only after you've applied it in the image well, you have to click back on it. This is it's just a little weird thing that you have to do in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, so now I can turn on uh, the checkerboard, which literally shows me a checkerboard comparison between uh, the uh, reference of what a Rec. 709 version is going to look like and what our linear reference looks like. And now I can use scopes. So I can turn the video scopes on, and we can see the uh, difference between the two. This is showing us the checkerboard. So we can see there's a bit of work to do to, um, to make this curve look the same. Uh, if you don't have scopes, I, I think Final Cut Pro 10 has some great scopes built in here. If you don't have scopes, uh, we've included some scopes, so you can activate them here. So when you enable our scopes, you'll see that the red is uh, the reference, so that's our um, LUT that we've put in here. And the cyan is um, uh, the clip that we're actually affecting. So let's enable the curve lines here, and we have Luma set. And so the basic idea is 
I'm going to move my five points around and try to match the look of this curve. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, and so that's that's pretty close. This is really quick, but let's say this is um, a look that you really like. Then all you do is turn off all this stuff. So turn off the checkerboard and the scopes and the curve lines. Um, and you can hide the uh, advanced and then get rid of the uh, reference here. And now you can save this as a new preset. So we'll just save as and we'll call this um, log favorite. And now the next time that you use the plugin, you'll see this preset in the list as one of your custom presets. And of course, you can apply it uh, anytime you want. We ask that customers send us their favorite presets. We'll have a look at them and possibly include them in future versions of the plugin.